imagine your child scans a news article and tells you the gist of it, the very essence, not some aspects or details, but the main idea. Imagine your child reads their boss's email in the future and instantly understand what their boss wants to be done, not what their boss is writing about, but what should be done. Or your child will be an independent expert and will immediately understand what their client are writing to them about. I'm Irina, a teacher, an author, and the founder of the Smart Story Space, where children are empowered to be brave explorers, confident English language speakers, global citizens, through reading and writing stories. Today, I'm going to talk about this analytical reading skill, how we uh, teach children this skill at the program Young Author Experience. At this program, children read the first story, Nina and Eve, first trip to the sea, and they write their own adventure story. We start with um, a storyboard. We create a storyboard. It's a plan of chapters, and they briefly describe what each chapter is going to be about. But these are not the names of the chapters yet. After one chapter, or all chapters are done, then they start to create names, um, titles for the chapters. And this is a, a very important exercise to train this analytical reading skill, analytical skill. And because they need to express the gist of the chapter. At this uh, stage, children learn uh, to express the main idea. We don't try to create suspense or uh, um, yeah, engage too much a reader. Uh, with, the, uh, with their first stories, they simply need to express the gist of the chapter. And I would like to give you examples of my students. One of my students uh, wrote a story about uh, how she was how she learned from a friend about Turkey, how she started to dream about going there, how she uh, tried to persuade her mom to let her go. Uh, and finally, the circumstances uh, helped her and they went there in the story and maybe in their lives they will go there. And her first ideas of uh, naming this book uh, were like uh, a trip to Turkey. So I told her, are you describing what is, how you are spending your time in Turkey or how you are getting there? And no, it is not the case. So um, finally we came and she came with the help of my questions to the, this title, my dream to go to Turkey. I can show you, um, I can, I will show you one of the chapters. This is the first chapter in her book. And I would like also to tell you about uh, the name of this chapter, how we worked on it. Um, this chapter is about how she and her family had a special dinner devoted to the celebration of her sister's uh, first year of university. But uh, again, my student wanted to call it sushi, maybe because it, it is her favorite food. Uh, and uh, with some questions, I asked her, was it, uh, is it a description of sushi? No, it isn't. Is it um, like uh, only description of how you eat dinner? Do you, do you go to a restaurant every week? Uh, no, uh, we don't go. It's a special dinner. So with the help of these questions, again, she came to the uh, title, which, which expresses the gist of this chapter um, better. Yeah, a special dinner at the restaurant. So this, um, you know, this activity, I see it very important and very useful for children. And another example, let me show you the cover of um, 
the story of another student. Look. Um, so firstly, I don't know if you can see uh, in the orange, it was called, she called it Bert in the forest. Bert is her dog and children um, are excited to write about their pets because they love them. And uh, because my books are about our family dog, so it's a good example for them also to write about their pet. But let's get back to it. Uh, firstly, she called it Bert in the forest. Um, and later she came to another title, Where is Bert? Yeah. And um, again, in, in her story, she writes how Bert was lost in the forest while they were walking. And the first title uh, doesn't uh, reflect it. But uh, later, yeah, now we even have this suspense, like what's go what will happen to Bert? We can see it on the in the cover, but you know, what will happen? And because we have this question and we understand that something will happen or he will be lost. So it is closer to the um, main idea of the story. And um, I like uh, these, activities. I think, as I said, I um, consider them very useful because I remember that uh, at my school time, for me, it was difficult to create a plan of what I read, whether it was uh, material on history, I think it was yeah, history, or maybe a fiction book, but it was uh, quite difficult for me. And when we start to learn it, at early age, it becomes more and more, um, it becomes easier. And um, nowadays, this analytical skill is of paramount importance because uh, uh, we are bombarded with information from different sources and we need to quickly grasp uh, the main ideas um, as well as uh, at our work. We need to read a lot and to be able to analyze and to understand what people want from us. Um, so I hope it was useful and insightful for you. And um, uh, sign up for my free Taste Young Author Experience Week, which I will organize soon. And see you in the next videos.